Yo, what's cracking, guys? You read that title correctly. We haven't talked about Skippy in so long. He's still alive. And um, five years ago, I said, in five years, I'm going to fuck him. So your time is up, Skippy. Time to lose that virginity, boy. Either we're fucking or I'm fucking. I said it, so it has to happen. What I made fun of on stream was a clip of <laughs> Skippy on Fresh and Fit. If you don't know who Fresh and Fit is, you're lucky. It's just two of the ugliest black guys on earth talking about red pill content and how all women are whores and men should be able to cheat. That would be nice, actually. Yeah, no, men should be able to cheat. Let's make that a thing. Yeah, they're fucking idiots. It's hilarious. But they just surround Skippy with, like, hot whores. And they're like, do your best. And he's just bricked up the entire time. So was I. As you'll see in the video, uh, the girl he's sitting next to, I fell in love with instantly. Like, she is so hot that I would suck her dad's dick to say thank you. But before we hop into this, I wanted to say that, like, Skippy posted a video recently where it seemed like he wasn't doing too well or anything like that. He posted a video on his birthday. It, it just He was talking about how he hasn't accomplished any of the things he wants, and he knows that it's his fault and he's not in a good place. So I'm just asking you guys, if you guys could, after this video, maybe go comment on his video and give him some words of encouragement. Because that might just be what somebody needs, right? Like, I would love for him to get back on track. Like, even though he is a cringe lord, he's still a person, you know what I'm saying? So even though I am a professional asshole, I do think it would be a nice gesture for everybody to just give some nice words of encouragement, especially because it was just his birthday. And life can be super hard. Okay, enough of that sappy shit. Now let's make fun of him, okay? <laughs> hey, I've talked to him before. Okay, I've interviewed him. We're best friends. Let's go, shall we? You read that title correctly. Dude, we, we left off on talking about Skippy being on a red pill uh, podcast, Fresh and Fit. And uh, there was a girl I fell in love with on there. Uh, we're together now. No, I'm kidding. But <laughs> she had a fat ass. Whew, um, that's as far as we got. So there's a lot left of it. And I would love to watch it with you guys. We were pretty interested uh, in it last time. I'll literally just show you a frame of it. And you're going to be like, oh, yeah, I got to see this. Come on. Two black dudes podcast. Hot women right there. I'm in love with her. Virgin right here. Yeah. It's great. That Their podcast is not great, but I it's going to be. It's Skippy. They're all about fucking chicks. All women are whores. If you don't know what the red pill concept is, it's, or they're whores. All women, but guys should be able to have sex all the time. Whatever they want. It's fresh and fit. This guy's apparently fucked over 1,000 women. He hasn't. Oh, no. So, so uh, towards the end, Skippy will go left down. Yeah. We'll figure, go. It, we'll figure Black it out. Black Lemur, I hope you come to my Facebook lives too sometime. <laughs> <laughs> wow, he sounds like if you made a virgin's noise, like a virgin's voice. Uh, uh, yeah. How about you come over to my stream sometime? Dude, turn it down. De deepen your voice on purpose, like this. Talk a little bit deeper, you know? Don't do like a black eye accent, but deepen it up. Because uh, you sound like a bitch. You, you sound like an IT guy who hasn't fucked. There. Black lemur, we love you. Mm, real, I am no, you gotta do that good. <laughs> what's going on here? This is like a behind the scenes joke. This is really loud. Okay, you got uh, going on there? Okay. Maybe it's my headphones. <laughs> right, you guys right, let me know so, if it's too loud. Skippy. Yeah. Right? Another question for yeah, you. Yeah, get a, get a question so, in fresh. Remember the last phrase I said? Isn't that a fitting name for this ugly motherfucker? I, like I said in the last stream about this, we have the ugliest white dude in the world and the ugliest black guy. Both in one room. <laughs> Fascinating, honestly. Nice guys finish last. Yeah. Do you feel like you're too nice to sometimes to women that can they kind of uh, take advantage or no? No. <laughs> That's such a wild question. Um nice guys finish last. Do you think you're too nice to women? What is that? What do you mean by too nice? Do you become more agreeable when a hot girl asks you to do something? Yes! Of course, Skippy's looking rough. You should see him now. He lost 60 pounds, up to 80 pounds, in a bad way. Like, he looks like he's been doing crack, and I'm not even joking. Seriously, I'm concerned about him. I commented on his uh, picture or video where I saw him looking bad, and I told him to reach out if he would like, uh, if he needs somebody to talk to, because he is not doing well. He even said it in a video, and he's not looking well, so, you know. 
he asked me for money once, so I'm not going to help him monetarily, but I, you know, want to help straighten him out and get him focused on uh, life. I mean, how do you not just, after, if I was on the Fresh and Fit podcast, I'd be so famous, dude. I'd do so well. He could have catapulted from this. Because uh, honestly, I think if you were to ask some of the girls that have actually gone on dates with me, I'm oh, I'm uh, too creepy. You're too creepy. You creep everybody out through the TV screen. Okay. Do you know how hard that is to do to convey that without that being the main thing you're trying to convey? He does it organically. He creeps people out by being him. Hyper with it, right? Like I'm too anxious and over eager. Like what, uh, when cocaine. I find a girl that I like, it's like do a dog do? uh, chasing a car, right? And what? <laughs> I need you to explain this. Uh, comparison you made like a dog chasing after a car yeah because the dog is so dumb and it can never catch the car and what's it gonna do when it does fuck it and if the car were to ever stop the dog would just like bark and then get bored and go away right and i think mm -hmm. there's just that part where because i haven't really had success in relationships i'm constantly the yipping dog instead of like hey let the car go it'll come back around yeah i see i've seen it to be a huge problem with men um, like in their later years, like, okay, I'm only 28. Um, to some people that's old as fuck. I've met like dudes through the bike scene where I'm like, I'm 28. And they're like, Jesus Christ. Where they refer to like, they're like, yeah, the people who are older, you know, like 30, 40. I'm like, Whoa, watch out with the 30 talk dog. But, um, like they, if they don't go on dates, they kind of fuck themselves over in the long run and then kind of will take anything that comes their way that stays. Like one of my homies, was in a relationship with a girl out of uh, outside of the country. Uh, still is after she, he found out she was using him for money. And um, he like married her right away. And I was like, has he been on a date since he turned 25, since his prefrontal cortex developed? Like, has he been on adult dates? And he hasn't. Like, I think that might be a big problem going on, which is also kind of funny. Dates are weird. I don't know. It's like, hey, do you want me to go entertain you at dinner? Hmm? And I noticed that dates are only expensive because of me, actually. <laughs> <laughs> One day you can go pee on the tire or something like that or have sex in the vagina if it... <laughs> Bro! <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I mean, I get why he has to talk about sex, uh, use that. It's, it's probably on his mind constantly. I mean, I'm not a virgin, and it's on my mind constantly you know what i'm saying so this dude is probably just there's cum when he cries it's jizz leads to marriage i don't know i don't yeah, know the way to I, say that's what this i wanted now. to ask you is that you ask away no keep talking mm -hmm. it's not me it's you you're right i'm the problem i'm sorry what did i do How are you gonna are goes? you gonna wait till marriage yeah or? that's what i'd like to do but oh, yeah. Yeah. i'll wait for marriage for you that's pretty but awesome. please understand and we oh, haven't uh, we oh she's so perfect i can't even see skip anymore honestly i forgot she was there i'm gonna keep it real I was actually focusing on him, but then I remembered. But I mean, he looks like uh, shit. This is how I feel like I look, but he lost weight. So maybe I should try crack. We haven't asked about this here. We did, I think, uh, before, but let me just say this. I'm a virgin by choice and not just because I'm... Uh Whose choice? Whose choice? That's the right question. Not yours. Yeah, lean into the waiting for marriage because it's cute and it's okay. That's the only way that this isn't a problem, even though it is... Oh, thank you, Debbie. Yeah, I think it's my body dysmorphia that makes me think I look like this famous virgin. Ugh. I'm going to do some push-ups after the stream. Uh, Mormon, I really, really do think mm. that no one should have... Is this bitch 18 years old, by the way? How old is this woman? Does she have school tomorrow? She's not going to catch the bus. ...to have sex before they're ready to. And since... Uh, you know, since I was like a kid because I was Mormon, but even after that, mm. I just felt like, hey, I think mm -hmm. because I've always dreamed that like, I'm going to be real with you. This is a shitty podcast. I interviewed Skippy. Mine was way fucking better. Watch this. What am I doing? Watching my own. Yep. Like I, I, yeah. I don't like I can't. I mean, I couldn't do that. Like no. I, like you have to be good in bed if, on or in like in order for a relationship to work. So what if she fuck? Well, that gets me out of the game. He sucks in bed. Or you guys don't have, like, milfs? chemistry in bed. Well, love I would milfs. say that... Love milfs. 
You don't marry a MILF, though. I would say, what if you get married? I, I countered that with, what if you get married just because of looks? I'm so insulted that, look at him from this angle. His long hair, terrible. Body, terrible. T-shirt, literal. Uh, <laughs> uh, he is having the honor of talking to my future wife, the future earner of 50% of my income instead of because of personality right uh, Jesus. but the sex can suck you can have a good or a bad person you can be you can be super fine and have a great personality well, and, but not have chemistry in bed well, it's weird that he's having a talk about chemistry in bed when all he's done is jerk off and collect belly button lint that i almost bought for like 500 dollars. 40s is old so old what joking i'll be 40 in 12 years you know to show you how to get better at lovemaking, so like, yeah, uh, but a connection you can't they can't do that. Like, there's there's people that have like real connections in bed, chemistry, you know, like, yeah. uh, like chemistry, can't fake chemistry. Hey, I you can have good sex with someone, like amazing sex, and not have, have chemistry. Like, I'm I, I'm just pretending she's a virgin and she read this stuff on the internet. You know, she's never had sex before, she has never been deflowered, she is my future bride. I will never. Look at a woman for longer than three seconds if I married her. Like, but I think I would be shortchanging myself if I had it, it just for the sake of, because uh, everyone says like, you gotta try feel before you, you get married. <laughs> everyone says you wouldn't buy a car unless you test drive it. Yeah, I but I want to have, that. I want to be, I want to buy a oh, new car, God. right? I, I want to have a car with as few miles on it as possible. Yes, that's what I was gonna. Ask also, you. that I'm in love with, right? You so he would. What he's saying is he would just purchase a brand new car without test driving it, which is also a stupid decision. Do I think people should fuck before they get married? Yep. Oh, yeah. Yes. Do, do you expect your wife to be a virgin, too? No, no. I, I think that You don't think was, that's going to bother you? No, when I was... If I was a male virgin and my wife wasn't, it would bother me. You waited that long, you know? But it's like so almost impossible. Even for if a woman wanted a virgin man, it's just like so because you're dumb and young, you know, he would have lost his virginity if he had the opportunity when he was younger, obviously, because there's no way he had this inhibition in him at a young age or else they would have looked at him as a scholar. How can you? Uh, oh, fuck. What's it called? Delay the gratification of pussy on purpose for this long. Get the fuck out of here. It's in my early 30s, like my, uh, from when I was like 21, getting home from Michigan. That was a bar, by the way. That was, you know, if he was so good at delaying gratification, like he is with sex, he'd be able to work out and not look like shit. To, is this ever going to happen? And I was thinking of it the wrong way. And now I think I've got a better perspective of it. And I think that's why it will probably happen within the next five years. And if it doesn't, yeah. I can't be too mad because as long as I'm starting to improve and get better, which is something that I hadn't really thought the previous five, 10 years about. You know I mean, I think what he's saying would be good if he was my age, right? Like if my best friend said, um, yeah, maybe I'll lose it in five years. Uh, but if not by then, it's fine. Uh, I'm going to start working on myself. I'll be like, all right. So by the time you're in your mid-30s, you'll be put together. This guy will be 50. The average lifespan of a man is 75. Look at him. He is so much closer to death. This is dark. Isn't this funny? But literally, though, do you spend this much of your life not fucking? Also, this is probably so distracting for them. This big screen that's in front of them. But you see what I mean, dude? Like, um, I mean, I'm not a big, I'm not a fan of casual sex at all. It makes me feel like a terrible person. Uh, after I heard Jordan Peterson go, do you want to be a sexual partner or casual sexual partner? Is that all you want to be looked at as? And I was like, oh, is that why I feel bad? Uh, and I just love when Jordan Peterson cries as well. Oh, it's all, it's all about getting sucked off, Joe. Did you see, did you see the Japanese things that sucked you off, Joe? And, yeah. Oh, no, I hope I have really great yeah, sex yeah. too, but I also know me, right? Yeah, and but, what, but it's not going to bother you that she slept with other people and you haven't? You don't think that's going to like, after you no. have sex, really bother you? No. Cause, really? Because uh, no. like, uh, I'll be like, no. The, in the inflection in his voice. No. Lie. I watch a lot of police interrogations. Oh, wow. I watch a lot. Of police interrogations. Oh, 
What are you getting? I'm getting angry. That's what these say. You need a bag that says I watch a lot of police interrogations so more people know? I got you. Girls that I've gone on dates with that uh, have like been married before and had kids, it was the kid that let me know that they had had sex before. And I want to what? be a dad one day, so I don't mind that. I mean, like, yeah. I really like it. And for girls that have kids, I hate uh, The sign that I knew she has had sex before was her child. That was a pretty big indicator to me that she has had sex. I hate it when guys say, oh, she has baggage, because that the term really uh, annoys me. Oh, give me a hug me. right now, because I have... Are you, oh, you're touching her? Her, him? I'm so jealous of him right now, dude. I'd fucking flex my shoulders so hard. Uh, I think I've watched a couple true crimes. None that stand out. There hasn't been anything that's been really exciting recently. It's going to be so ill. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Are, is he... Is this see? I'm a guy and I can't even tell if he's flirting. He's so bad at it. But I've been told I'm also really bad at it. I think I've also been told that I flirt too much. So I just don't know. I'm just so nice. I have three kids. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but baggage annoys me just because it's like I've I, never, I've never said, like had a man tell me, "Oh, you have baggage." Like I, when you know. I of course you haven't. A guy has never told you no before. What do you mean, a guy's good? There's no amount of baggage you could have that a guy would care. Don't care. I've never had a problem finding a man, keeping a man when I've wanted to. Well, they he definitely nutted. That's a good point. He might be wearing a cock sock in preparation. Yeah, these girls look bored out of their fucking minds. Like, they, I guess they are because I found her Instagram through their uh, description. So they are tagged in this. But like, yeah, it's just guys who want to jerk off to him. It's just girls trying to promote their OnlyFans, actually. I say it online and comments. <laughs> but, but yeah I, yeah, I hope you don't ever have that. And no, I no. don't want to. But I, I, I know that a lot of people sure. say look at like single moms like that like they have baggage but i love you oh you have kids <sighs> shit <laughs> fuck okay guys thank you so much for watching and listening everywhere i appreciate you so fucking much right now i am genuinely very close to losing my channel again this happened about five years ago with tlc copyright claiming false copyright claims but right now another company is doing that I'm about to get a copyright strike on my channel, and I have a feeling I'm about to get another one from them. If you get three, your channel gets terminated. Super fun. Not stressful at all. It's weird that, like, even after posting for six years, almost 1,200 videos, I still feel hopeless when it comes to being false copyright claimed. Like, there should absolutely be repercussions to false copyright claims. Reaction videos fall under fair use law, bitch. Like, these companies are, are really fucking me right now, dude. Like, they're just taking down entire live streams and shit. So if I've ever made you laugh and you want to help support this channel, I actually have a Patreon with a Patreon podcast on patreon.com slash wineboxpoppy. Because, like I said, I'm genuinely getting fucked from every direction from these companies. It doesn't even make sense to me. I'm talking about your video. Now people are going to watch your fucking video. It would make sense if I was just posting the video on my channel and saying it was mine, but what I do is transformative, you stupid cunts. I wish I knew what company it was. So patreon.com slash wineboxpoppy. But if you can't or don't want to, I totally understand. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Let's keep that algorithm going, baby. I fucking love you guys. Mwah.